Hello again everyone and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. We are back here in uh, Crestwood and we are going to go back to uh, the flooded region, well the formerly flooded region of Crestwood and sort out some issues we have to sort out down there. Uh, we need to inform the spirits in all of Crestwood. Oh, before I forget, apparently uh, someone recommended I take uh, Solus and Cole with me just to speak to that spirit. So I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. If I can find the place to switch my party. There we go. Uh, so we'll go... Barrack. Uh, no. No, 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 no. Cassandra, Cole, and Solus. There we go. Very poorly leveled up party, but we are just, to be honest, they should be absolutely fine. I'm not gonna lie. We're not... It, it, it's, it's not gonna be a hard area to deal with down here. Um, yeah, I'm going to see if we can speak to the spirit at all down here. Uh, using source and call. We have been able to communicate fine, but I uh, just want to see if there's any other potential interactions we can have. And then after we've done that, we, d we still need to find another pile of bodies. And I, I, I don't know where, that, where, the, where those other bodies are. I've honestly not got a clue. Spirit! Hello, spirit. Yes. Special. Uh, any advice for it, Cole? Maybe you can give it some guidance, Cole. Maybe. My name is... Uh, compassion. Did I ask your name? Oh, sorry. Wow, okay. Spirits Solus. Equity, Solus. Then tell me why nothing here changes. This realm follows different rules from the Fades. Will alone cannot overcome what you see. Then what's the point of it? A solid form is both shackle and strength. It affects more than you imagine. Oh, well, that was in that was uh, in enlightening at least. Uh, Cole, Cole got completely shut down there, but <laughs> okay, yeah, I killed a red demon for you. Demon in the caves is dead, as you commanded. I had no doubt. Now that my sovereignty has been respected, I can depart this unchanging nightmare. Your reward. Use it well. Oh, and I'm in the power. A spirit such as that could not leave here until it had proven its nature. Not a problem. So can we use that middle of power? Ah, that's that's for coal only. I mean, well, we'll, we'll give it to him. I'm not gonna level him up. Um, right. Just out of curiosity, how how do these guys how do these guys fare in this in this fight against this deep stalker? I can take the uh, the, the hits, so I'm not gonna. I mean, they did fine. Yeah, it was very comfortable. Cullen's ready to report in, so that means that we found the mayor. First things first, though. Let's uh, let's try and find those these damn bodies. As I don't have the. Faintest idea where they are. Because we, ha we have had a good look at. Yeah, we did have a good look around last time, and we found no trace of of the of the third pile of bodies which we were missing. So I, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this. Oh, this door's not. No, that that, that didn't help in the slightest. I'm guessing the door just locked itself, well, closed itself when uh, we left last time. Because that's how doors work. If you leave them, if you leave them unattended for a long time, they'll just close. Uh, I don't know if anyone knew that, but yeah, that, that, that's that's actually a fact. It's not. Oh, oh, is this it? Is this it here? How did I miss that? That's so blatant. Oh dear. Well, let's go and get this landmark to the uh, the southeast. Uh, if we can get to it. Oh yeah, I remember we need to be on a elevated position for that. The landmark was was like up on a cliff, wasn't it? So we'll try and navigate to it. I think we'll probably have to go this way. I think. And then uh, once we've done that, we'll return to camp and get our usual party back. No offense to. Uh, Call or Solus, but uh, yeah, I have my uh, I have my preferences. That's that's honestly my uh, my thing in in almost every like RPG where where you have a party or anything like that. 
genuinely, I I so struggle to not use the same group of people because generally I pick people based on personality. And personally, Cassandra, Varric, and Dorian have have the best personalities of all the party members, which I have kind of experienced so far. And that and that's not necessarily to say that some of them are bad. Like I like Cole. Cole's interesting. Solus is good. Um, Iron Bull's good. I enjoy Iron Bull as well. Um, some of them I'm not too fond of. Like, uh, for example, Sarah, I just find very annoying. Vivienne's got a massive attitude on there. Blackwall's a bit boring. Uh, but yeah, genuinely, like the 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 majority of the prime is the prime members are good. It's just that. Overall, I just I just have a big preference for um, Cassandra, Varric, and Dorian. Um, so if I'm ever if it ever comes to picking who I want, I'm always gonna pick them because they're my favourites. You guys not gonna fight that deep stalk? I'm just gonna leave, leave you to it. I'm not bothered if he if if he doesn't die personally. Oh, there's an Australian as well. Did we? Did we do this Australian? We didn't, did we? I'm fairly sure we did not do this do this Australian. Is that Deep Stalker still following us? If so, can you <laughs> It just looks like we're all running running away from the Deep Stalk. <laughs> the most terrifying enemy in the uh, in, 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 in all of uh, all of Third Ass. The deep the Deep Stalker. Right, this one should be fairly simple. Should be. There, there. There. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I, I think I, I think I may have jumped the gun slightly here. Oh, have I? Oh no, no. Wait, I think I can do this. There, 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 there. Oh no, I can't. Okay, bad move. We'll do it this way. Up there. And over there. And over there. There, 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 there. Motherfucker. <laughs> okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe it's not as simple as what I originally thought it was going to be. Uh, there, 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 there. Okay, yeah, we've 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 actually got it this time. Boom! Oh, it's a little owl. Nice. Constellation Tenebrium, called Shadow in the common parlance, likely due to the ancient association of the constellation Tenebrium with with Lusak and the gold, old god of darkness and night. It is odd, however, that the, that the depiction for this constellation has always been an owl, not a dragon even in the Tabinta texts. This lends credence to the widely held belief that Tenebrium was a name meant to, to supplant an older elven association, perhaps with the elven god Falondin, uh, sometimes represented in tales as a giant owl. There is, of course, another explanation. Owls are nocturnal hunters, and among earlier peoples were considered terrifying omens of loss. Tenebrium. Tenebrium is a name I recognise, and I don't know why. I don't know where I know Tenebrium from. It, it it might be from 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 somewhere in Dragon Age. Tenebrium. I, I know the name Tenebrium from somewhere. I just don't know where. Fisherman's hope. The stink of carrion fulfills the air around this hut. Lovely. Ah, I don't think it's just the stink of carrion that's that's filling the air around this hut. There's a stink of death as well. Fucking lovely. Right. Well, as we were. Thrilled and banner crown. Ah, oh, nice. 18 out of 22 banners found. Good stuff. Right. Uh, so we now know where the two other Australians are, which is good. Uh, we'll go back to Crestwood. Yes. Yeah, we'll go back to Crestwood. We still didn't unlock that door either. You can come out now. 
I love I, st I still have to lockpick the door. Hello? He's not even in. He's not even in. Oh, another amulet of power. Oh, for me. Nice. Awesome. I will use that. Uh, doop. And I'll put the st stamina amulet back on. Thank you very much. So that should be us able to level up again now, yeah? Correct. There we go. Uh, what do we want, though? That's the uh, that's the question. What do we actually want? Uh, we'll do knockout bomb. I don't think I'm gonna use it, but I just, I just want the to work towards the buff for uh, armor penetration, which could be very useful in the in the long run. Sweet. Okay, and let's go and speak to uh, Sister Vaughn quickly. Tell her that the bodies have been uh, found. I'm going to go back to Skyhold when I know all the advisors are done so I can properly reassign them. I know the mayor is probably waiting somewhere now to be judged. And don't worry, he will be judged. He deserves it, but I'll try and be lenient. I found bodies for cremation. Thank you, Vaughn. Do take care. Right. Uh, go to Kerbernak. Then work work our way east from there potentially. Uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, I think we'll do that. Yeah, Kerbernak. I think there's a point to change a party there, which we're definitely going to do. Anything to report? What's happening in Crestwood? The Dragon Circle in the lake looks hungrier than usual. Travelers on the road will be scarce until it's gone. I'll deal Where with it. Going? Another time. Give me a bit of time, and I will deal with it. Do not worry. Right, let's get our party. Oh, hello. I actually didn't know how NPCs could, could, could climb ladders like that, to be honest. That's, that's caught me off guard, that. <laughs> I, I didn't honestly think that they could, they could do that. Uh, right, so we need to weed out some bandits. There's an Australian up there. I think I'm guessing we have to mend mend the loop around it that way. Uh, there's a naturalist. Judith isn't safely outside of town. Australian there as well, and uh, butcher. Yeah, the spy. He's also late back as well. Let's go and find some bandits to kill. Lelian is ready to report in as well. That is excellent news. Now I just need to find the way out of Kerbernak, which is, uh, might be problematic. Oh no, the, the front door is here. Alright, let's, let's go and kick some bandit ass. I think we can hang around, hang around Kerbernak like that. It's not happening. They're on our territory and they, and they are not welcome here. Oh, there's a massive, red, massive red lyrian vein. That's lovely. Absolutely lovely. There's a lot of lyrian veins here, actually. Oh, it's a lovely view of the mountains there, isn't it? Oh, beautiful. Really nice. The game definitely does a fantastic job of kind of creating an atmosphere. It really does. I'm surprised we can't do anything with these with these lyrium spikes. Unless it's just because they're, they're too big, maybe. Because they are quite big, to be fair. Uh...
Dead Man's Pass. Lovely. Said there was a cave down here, so I'm gonna go and investigate. Haven't seen any bandits here either. They, they they could well be hiding in this cave. It's possible. If if you're gonna congregate somewhere, it probably would be in a cave or a, or some kind of like concealed area. You want me to be sitting out in the open? This is, this is a pretty deep cave, though. A surprisingly deep cave. Oh, there's an exit that way. And then, and then, and then it just keeps going this way. There's some gold here. There's a dead body there. That's that's nice. A nug there as well. Oh, and a giant spider. Nice. Just what we wanted. Well, you ain't catching me off guard. Well, I examined the body and absolutely nothing happened, so that's, uh... That's good. Can only assume that they were killed by the spiders. Hmm, right. Right, so let's leave, I guess. Oh wait, does it carry on going this way as well? No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. This way is the dead end. Anything on this end of the uh, the, the end exit? Nope. No, nope, not much to report uh, on that side. Oh, the wolves are out. Not for much longer. They ain't gonna be. Kill them. Any nice loot? Probably not, right? Canine leather. Yeah. It's something. Every little helps when it comes to resources. You never know what we're going to need to craft. Um, probably fill, fill that other potion slot we have as well. But I suppose we're in no rush, are we? We're in no rush at all. Right. Is that the fish? Is is that the fisherman's hut up there? No, it's not. Linden Far. Oh no. Ah, hanging bodies. It's always nice, isn't it? Oh, there's a rift here as well. Cool. Right now, for what reason could we could we want to climb up here? Was oh, that a ball? No, but there is a journal of some kind. Plants vs. Corpses. <laughs> this is a reference. In all the strange struggles that have raged across Ferelden, one of the most peculiar is the Battle of Pauper's Cap. A powerful demon bent on gaining power in the mortal world raised an army of corpses to assault the home of Helianthus. A reclusive apostate who was said to possess both fabulous wealth and great knowledge. While the demon saw the perfect horse in this bejeweled bookworm, Helianthus was not without defences of her own. As the corpses shuffled toward her house, Helianthus called to the demon, declaring that though she was just a simple apostate, the demon would see her power and entire infantry. Then calling upon her magic, she summoned spirits into the plants in her vegetable patch, creating countless tiny sylvans. The resulting garden warfare saw corpses armed with buckets and doors as makeshift helmets and shields battling possessed fruits and vegetables. We spat seeds, constructed makeshift fortifications, and even chomped entire corpses whole. In the end, the area around Hel Helianthus's home became both garden and graveyard, home to the corpses destroyed as she defended herself in this world from the demon. Had she been defeated and her great brain turned to the demon's purpose purpose purposes, we might well have seen such terrible corpses rampaging from the Great Pyramids of Parvo into the pyre infested waters of Lomarin or even to the unknown western lands. Is this my lunch? I thought we were dining on bacon today. I was informed that, the, the, that there would be bacon. No, I shall not take the pot off my head. Why? Because I am mad. An unsourced and debatable tale from Dav Davith the Mad, supposedly shared at, the, at, at his estate in Walnut Hills where he spent his later years. 
I can't believe they genuinely put a Plants vs. Zombies reference in here. L literally, it's set out exactly like that as well. I didn't know there was going to be a fucking reference to Plants vs. Zombies. Oh my god. Oh, EA. EA, you, you, you wonderful beast, you. Jesus Christ. Plants vs. Zombies in Dragon Age. Who would have thought it? Who would have thought it? I don't know whether I don't know whether that's brilliant or awful. I really don't. Boom. One more rift down. Okay. Whirlwind ring. Get all the rest of the stuff here looted before we move on. I'm, I, I, it's going to it's going to take me a while to go over that. Genuinely, I can't believe. <laughs> oh no! Right, let's go and check up on Judith. <laughs> oh, say so I'm gonna end the episode here for now. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. In the next episode, we shall go and play Plants vs. Zombies instead. No, I'm joking. Uh, next episode, we'll check up on Judith and hopefully um, get the rest of uh, rest of this area done uh, in due course. Uh, so thank you very much for watching once again, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of Dragon Age Inquisition. Thanks again, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.